Hello and welcome everybody back to the Dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer. As we carry on our playthrough of Atom RPG. Now, this may be a little bit of a quick one. Um, as I was coming off to do my trading and uh, to uh, unload some of the, some of the <laughs> numerous things that I have on myself, um, I noticed something quite weird. Also actually eat some food because I am hungry um god damn it right leave that on the floor uh did I sell my knife oh I did so I've only got a pistol now uh, okay never mind so there's this dude with a pig now obviously we know he's a mushroom cult fanatic possibly Piggy piggy. No? Oh my days. You see a man wearing a tinfoil hat. He's shuffling from one foot to the other and from time to time shouts out new nonsense phrases. A small pig is sitting at his feet. Observers observing the madman madman's companion as you come closer the man immediately claps his lips shut his insane gaze stops darting about and focuses on you hmm the idiot has come to look in the mirror and the mirror is calling him an idiot. What do you want? Do you want to ride Orky? I won't let a pig piggyback a pig. That wouldn't be right. Being me, a human, an Orky, well, given him a ride for money, that is... For expensive coin to get his daddy some fire water. What's wrong with you? Right, right. What's wrong with me? Everything right with me. Ricky T T T right. Ricky T T T T T T T T T. Let me rephrase my question. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I spit. I spit on you. Damn you. I don't come... Don't come to me with this issue. This is wrong. Ubridos? Blue worm. Nameless born adult turned idiot. Walking after a flying arrow he cannot see. Look at him. Talking to us as if he were real. Chosen one out of fire. One out of five is the best case scenario. When the fat one is not too lazy, he sees himself only from the top and never with his own eyes. And he dares to approach us, the fake, the simulation. I run you off and Orky will chase after so you don't stop running. He'll squish. Squash? Squash? Mm. This silly face smiler Urica? Intelligence. Hmm. It's it closely resembles the this boilst I don't know. That has been discussed since ancient times. An abuse An abuse a symptom? However, tell me your name, demon. The man's eyes suddenly turn blank. Focus in your direction for the first time. He clenches his fists, punching out 
his cheeks and steps towards you. Enough of your lies. Ask the name of the girl at a village dance, but not mine. Who do you think you are? Who are you trying to insult us? By the way, we haven't been introduced. What's your name? What's so difficult about it? Tell me your name. I don't want it very much. Uh, tell me your name. You step back frightened because right after you spot the old man's face twist into a truly satanic grimace. His blurry eyes protrude from their orbits. The lower jaw hangs almost to his shaken chest. His yellowing tongue rolls out like an oiled rag. Following his transformation, his voice, which pours forth sounds nothing like the old man's, it's polyphasic, a uh, canotropic of a thousand voices, screaming, hissing, roaring, howling. An unholy unison. The madman's pig takes three steps back from his master. It wheeled ears pressed tightly against his head. Our name is. The next word sounds as if its roots lay in your native language, but at the same time, it's incredibly alien. You shudder without knowing why. <laughs> Possessed? Huh? Monoclone. Monoclone? Yeah. Monoclone. Scavenger of the deeps. Why are you summoning us here, you ugly freak? Hey you, Monocow, whatever. What do you want with this man? What a curious case. Hey, demon. Exit this gentleman's body. By the will of the council... Central community of the... Commerce party of the... Leave this province evil spirit. Get out. Raise your arms threateningly. Stop uh, clowering around you, moron. <laughs> Get out, evil spirit! No. Um, what do you want with this man? Calming down for a sudden and squinting his eyes a bit, he answers with a question of his own. What do you want here, if you don't mind me asking? I was simply travelling and came across this village. Don't tell anyone, but I'm from Atom. Ah, you're not telling the truth, brother. You're not a simple traveller. You follow a path. You might not see it yourself, but you have one. We all have one, and you are no exception. But I sense your path is more interesting than others. It is more wildly. And now, if you'll excuse me. The man erupts with crazed laughter and begins to dance in place. Occasionally shouting short phrases in a language you don't understand. What a curious case. Hey, demon. Uh, you call out boldly, but the old man's reaction stops. And the words in your throat. The madman is literally transforming in front of your eyes. 
to the backdrop of the terrifying squeals of the pig. Burst bristling, standing to attention on its hunched back. The possessed man goes white as his eyes fill with blood. Blood vessels burst under the pa uh, parchment-like skin of his yellowing cheeks and a horrendous crim crimson web spreads across his face. His next words pour out like vomit. Damned die! May your whole mother turn thrice on a rod. May the last of your kin die out, scum. You're bo uh, You're burning me. You're burning me, you dirty bag. Yeah, yeah, la, la. What did you say about my mother? Leave this poor Tutrary alone. You. Uh, I have no idea, creature. The man is hissing and hiding his eyes from you. Give me another home and I might leave. Where will you invite me in? The old man has suffered enough. I invite you inside of. Oh, bugger me. Point at the pig. <laughs> Here's your next home. You couldn't find a better one. Um. Um. Okay, so. My character's intelligent. But he doesn't really believe in God so much. He doesn't believe in demons and he hasn't seen anything yet. Mutants are one thing, but to be possessed and where I'm a doc my character's a doctor he's got the uh, the doctor's background I think he would say no come into me give me your power yeah to try and break his mental you know delusion but as far as my character's aware that's what's going on here it's a mental delusion this dude is so far gone But then, uh, no, 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 well, I do like the pig. The pig, that's your new home. No. Let's go, let's invite him into ourselves. Let's see what, what happens. What's the worst that can happen? If we do get possessed, then my character learns that, holy shit, the, the spiritual does actually have an effect for some reason now. Um, and it will be an interesting you know, uh, character lore. Or a path. Hmm. Sure. You gain experience. You did it yourself. You asked me yourself. Come on. Come get your gift. With unnatural speed, the man hits you. <laughs> hits you with his fist. Right between the eyes. The blow is unexpected and swift. You have no time to react. For a moment, the world falls dark. Fidel, dog meat, why are you not helping me? Also, I forgot to mention, because I was taken aback by the pig and the crazy man. Dog meat has armor on. Look, look, you can see it. Uh, what the fuck is that? Deranged? The fuck? Deranged? Uh, oh no. When you open your eyes again, the old man is watching you with, with both fear and gratitude. The madness is gone from his eyes. You get up and dust yourself off whilst trying to understand what just happened. However you try, a clear answer won't come to you. Although you could swear you feel an unseen presence behind your back. Soon though, this creepy sentence goes away. Sense. Le goes away. Leaving a strange emptiness and... An... 
Ooh, I don't know what that is. Desire to talk. Oh no. Kadak Makaka, former possessed person. An old man in a tinfoil hat is standing right in front of you. He's trembling, staring at you in awe. Oh, my, my saviour. Let me, let me kiss you on, on the lips. Uh, 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 what? You don't know what, want, you don't want to? Uh, uh, uh well, sorry, uh, old habit. Now, what was it you wanted? <laughs> Possessed. Damn it all. What's going on? There's supposed to be a demon inside me now. Um. How are you feeling? Much better, I guess. I don't feel exactly myself, but I get used to it. Thank you. Ask you something? Ask away, my friend. Uh, who are you? Maximum. It's hard to remember. When I close my eyes, it feels like a hundred years ago. When I was just a plumber. Uh, Maxima. Um, as if only now my eyes are open for the first time. What the world is like, I won't say it's unknown to me, but I saw it through a dream before, as if through smoky glass. Now it is so sharp. Ah, it, it cuts my eyes with its truth. I'll have to get used to this. I've got to look for my place in... I've got to look for a my place in it and make sure that place isn't in quicksand okay so can I continue to <laughs> I can that's quite funny so let's I I, I need hmm I, I'm hmm uh, hmm <laughs> Possessed? Oh, you bastard. Oh, you... You utter, utter... Oh, no. I just lost... I just... Oh, that's so shit, people. That's so horrendously shit. I'm actually really annoyed at that. Minus one intelligence and personality. Fuck. Maybe it was the hit in the head, or maybe there is an actual demon inside you. You feel that you can take more hits, but the th thoughts in your head are jumbled, and sometimes you suddenly scream random obscenities oh no we still haven't seen this one take off have we oh, I'm so upset at that I mean so basically it's got rid of our intelligence from the doctor which god damn it oh fuck's sake if it was just intelligence or just in personality sure I would get over it but that oh mate that's fucking annoying <sighs> that's you gain the ability possessed but it doesn't it doesn't seem to do anything like no <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Well, let's talk to him and see, like, what happens when you... Damn it all! What's going on? There's supposed to be a demon inside me now. The man looks at you dumbfoundly as if he suspected you might be mocking him. Man, what are you trying to do to me? I was just starting to get better and now you're dragging me back into this abyss of madness? I used to be stone cold crazy. The demon was a figment of my sick imagination. Nothing more. Maybe it's just stress that's making you think that he is inside you. Sounds horrible anyway. 
Madness. So... Doesn't... Okay. Uh, uh. So, you can probably tell I'm not amazingly happy about this. But I saved it because I was like, no, doesn't matter if you're not happy about this. It's done. But I'm still not happy about this. Fuck. I can't believe that. That is highly, highly, highly annoying. That... Mm. That is highly, 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 highly annoying. I really hope I find something that gives me more intelligence. Also, dog meat has his armor. It's a little bit. I mean, or maybe he gets a headpiece later on. Yeah, maybe he gets a headpiece. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe he gets a headpiece. I can't believe I'm deranged now. But. It, 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 this makes me sad. Although... Hang on, what the... Oh no, I just speak gibberish when I'm walking around. Oh. Terrible. Nope, nothing. You, you won't give me any more money, you miserable old git. I don't actually know how you stealth in this game. You know, like... Steel stuff. Uh, not really. Not having a sneak button is a bit. Anyway, we're not going to get into that now. So. Uh, I, I don't really know what to say. This is all kind of annoying. I liked being an intelligent character. And obviously me as a player, I knew that something like that could happen, but as a character, he... Oh god, look, he just... Oh no. God damn it. I mean, it's funny, don't get me wrong, but... It's also like, what have I done? What have I done? No. Uh... I was really kind of hoping that there'd be someone to fight. Ah, oh, deranged. Look at it, just sat there. Mocking me. Deranged. Ugh. Terrible. I don't know why why I did this. Bless uh, oh, I didn't grab the rifle. Shit. Ah, well, never mind. Uh, yeah, that, oh, mmm, mmm, people, I'm, mmm, badness. Uh, no, we're going to walk past. In fact, I'm going to, because it's night time anyway, I'm going to wander around and see if we can get ourselves into a fight. Actually, we might as well come back this way. Um, oh. There we go, you've been ambushed by bandits. Well, we're going to attack them. We're going to attack them to let out some of my... <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Hmm, mm, that seemed quite loud. Can you... Can you dig it? Oh no. Oh dear. Well, I suppose actually he's run closer to me. So, ah, in the head! 33 damage. And he's not dead. That's kind of the scary thing. It says injured. Oh dear. Oh dear. He has taken 50 damage and not died. That's fucking terrifying. Uh, and he's only injured. Go to there. Shoot him in the face. But fuck all damage. 
Oh dear. Oh dear, they're getting closer. Please kill him. Oh, you killed him. Good work. Good work, Fidel. I can always trust you. Uh, to the face! For 30 damage. I mean, some of these... Some of these hits are quite nice. Oh no. Good work, dog meat. That might be a heavy crossbow. Damn. Wow, that hurt so much. Although I think he's at... Yeah, he's out of ammo. Please, dog meat. Go on, kill him. Oh, you... Damn it, dog meat. Why couldn't you have killed him? Uh, Go for it. Oh, shit. Oh, dog meat. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. No, 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 no. Knock him down, dog meat. Ah. Oh. You need to ask yourself one question. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> I quite like that. Um, right. I haven't got much health. Uh, just move. Move to there. We need to save dog meat. At all costs. Please shoot me. Please shoot me. Please shoot me. Come on, dog meat. Don't get... No! Oh! Ah! Please! Don't kill my puppy. Please... Oh, I need to reload. This is terrible. I could put it in... Okay. I have a plan. Oh, I hope this works. If this doesn't work... Oh, dog meat, you're alive. You're alive, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That could have gone so terribly wrong, dog meat. Oh, and I've even reloaded as well. Beautiful. Please don't kill my dog. Please don't kill my dog. Such a pain in... Uh, hang on, wait. It... What? And it took 30 point... Why is dog meat run away? He took two damage, he took... Was that a uh, fuck up? Did like dog meat actually get hit instead of the bandit? Who knows, but shoot him in the eyeball! Ah! I'm going to shoot you in the eyeball if you don't die. Ah! Beautiful, let me shoot you in the eyeball. Come on, in the eyeball. Ah, beautiful. Fifteen? Fifteen for shooting him in the eyeball. I, I get the feeling it should have been more than that. So let's see what loot we got. Wow, yeah, we got some, we got some good stuff. So take that. Take, well, actually, is there anything that I'd really leave? Not really. Take it all. Take it all. Uh, so that was him. Check out the next one. Okay, okay, so we got... No, 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 nice. Actually, I can use that now, can't I? Ooh. Hmm, that's a good point. I can't... Mm. We may have to... Uh... A wooden crossbow. A qual much better than a simple zip gun. Skill is throwing weapons. Uh, its accuracy is plus 10 at close range. It's homemade, which I think means it can break. Uh, 6 to 12. It's pretty shit. <laughs> it's pretty Is that. S in fact, give me the stims. And on the last dude. We have some pretty crap stuff. In all honesty. Nothing amazing, but it's all going into the pile. We should be able to sell it for a decent amount. That head armor. Oh, minus one. Okay, it's not as good. But I thought it was... Uh, didn't have a minus to it. Never mind. What did... What's Fidel's? 
Oh no, 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 it's Fidel's is actually better. Okay. Well then, well then. Let me just have a quick look in this house. Because... I don't think we've seen this map. Okay. Well. Oh no, we have. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well. Mm, we've come down to have a look. But I'm going straight back up. Because I... I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there except from radiation. Ah, oh, so, thank you very much for watching this episode. Because, yes, we are at that point um, where it's time to end. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode, which wasn't exactly a planned episode. I was going to bring you back in Paragon, but hey-ho, it was interesting. We're now deranged. That's That's... Not something that happens every day so um i certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to future episodes to come where we'll see if our derangement gets any worse if we can get a perk to fix it if you know is this forever is this going to affect our game somehow who knows but we will find out in the next episode also there's a sickle and hammer there right there um so yes take care everyone and as always, bye-bye for now.